Hi, I'm Leanne from Spectrum Noir, Crafters Companion, and we're going to start having a look at some of our basic techniques with regard to the pens and really look at how you can start to think about completing the accreditation process and become an accredit accredited colourist. The first thing we're going to have a look at is smooth blend and this is absolutely crucial for um, good results when you come to want to get all of those beautiful 3D effects that you see on all of your images. The point for that is it's really important that you understand how ink is saturated into the card and how it moves within the fibres of the card. Creating a smooth blend like this for all it's flat is key to the building blocks that you need then to get the 3D effects that you see and love. So we're going to have a little chat about this and then I want you to practice this and once you've got this right you can move on to the next steps. So you can see here on this heart it's a beautiful purple colour and it is flat. There are no lines or streaks in there. This could look as though it has been printed and that's what you need to be able to achieve with your pens. So I've got a blank one here and we're going to start working with that first. Just move that one out of the way. And I'm using my PL3 pen. You can use any colour you like. And actually the lighter colours will probably be a little easier for you to work with when you first start. But I'm dump, jumping in at the deep end because I should be able to and I'm starting with my dark one. So what we're going to do is just outline first. And I like to do this because um, it's really important that you're not going to go over the edges. Outlining helps you not go over the edge because you won't go right back to that edge to start with. So I'm just going to outline and as I'm outlining you can see that the colour will get darker in areas and lighter in areas. And if I just show you what I mean by that for a second, if I put a line on my heart here with the chisel nib, we can see there that we've got a lovely line of purple colour. If I go over that again, you can see that I've got two differences in colour. I've got my first layer and my second layer. If I go over that again, it's a little bit darker again, so I've got three layers of colour there. And if I go over there again, you can see it's even just a little bit darker. As I start to go more, it's not actually changing colour. That's because I've now, at this point where I've gone over four or five times, got a maximum saturation of colour. And just to show you what I mean by that, I'm going to turn over and show you the back of the card. You can see there that my first line here hasn't saturated all the way through back to the card, but the second, third, fourth and fifth lines absolutely have. And that's what you're wanting to achieve, an even saturation of colour. Because here with this first line, the white base of the card is still shining through and lightening that ink because it hasn't been able to achieve its maximum saturation. All alcohol ink is transparent, so that white will shine through. In order to make it its true colour, the colour that's in the pen, then you need to have saturated all layers of the card to get that true colour. And that's what we're doing with a smooth blend. So I'm just going to continue on. I'm going to finish my outlining actually because it'll all go wrong if I don't. So I'm just going to outline here. All the way around. I'm doing that with my bullet nib. There we go. And then for speed, uh, with a big area like this, I do like to use the chisel nib. So I'm just going to fill in now. And you'll see what I do is I just use long strokes and I do go over the same area more than once so that I can see I'm achieving that mat maximum saturation and I'm not getting any blotchy areas. If you've got blotchy areas, then that's not what we're looking for. And you can see where I put one coat like that and then come back. You can absolutely see how I'm managing to achieve that. And... You know, you just need to keep an eye on it because at the end of the day, alcohol ink does dry quick. So depending on where you are when you're doing this, you know, if you're in South Africa and it's red hot, then the ink's going to evaporate much more quickly than here in dreary old England. We had snow this morning. So I'm just going to finish off. And you can see as I'm achieving that saturation, 
the blotchiness goes away because all layers of the card are dyed for want of a better word and I'm just going to do a final little one around the edge there to take that away and I can see just a little one down this side which I'm not happy with now notice I only went to the edge of that black line once when I first outlined and then once when I've just finished the colouring if I kept going to that black outline what's going to happen is when I'm adding the ink it's going to soak through the fibres of the card and bleed beyond that black line and that's what's happening with your rubber stamping when people get in touch and say but mine bleeds all the time it's too much ink near the edge of your image it's like cotton wool in the centre you know there it is porous card so it will go in and then disperse beyond which is why I always recommend an outline first and then just to finish off with an edge afterwards and you can see there that that is beautifully smooth just as beautiful as the first one this one looks a little lighter for all it's the same colour because all of the alcohol has evaporated and we're just left with pure pigment and that's what colour this one will end up. If I show you the back, how beautifully even is that saturation there and you can see I've done it on a piece of white scrap card and actually I didn't mention that at the beginning, it is very, very important. Always colour with scrap card underneath. Don't colour on your craft mat, don't colour on a table, don't colour on a glass mat because what happens, the ink pools underneath and spreads and wicks back out up through your image and ruins it. So to get that beautiful smooth effect, always on scrap card and don't always go to the edge of the line. Now what I'd really like to show you and what you need to be able to practice for this point is a quick correction technique. So let's say we're trying to do that with the line and I've come out. I've come out of the line, I wasn't very skilled and I've made a little bit of a mark and a mess there. The easiest way to fix that, and I'm just going to move this out of the way so you can see how it happens there, is to push it through the fibres with your blender pen. So we're going to take our blender pen and I'm going to take the chisel nib and what we're going to start and do is push this ink through. So you're not going to chase it back into the image. By chasing it back in, you're just going to get a pool and a horrible kind of mottled bleedy mess there. A blender pen is pure alcohol. There's no pigment in there. And what we're going to do is kind of dilute that a little bit. And dilute's not the right word, but rather than dilute, let's say bleach. Blender pen's a bit like bleach. We're gonna bleach the effect, but we're going to push the ink through the fibers of the card like this. So I'm using my chisel and I'm just pushing down onto that there and you can see there that it has started to move that colour. It started to bleach the colour away but also if I pick up you can see that it's pushed it through here and it's actually pushed it into the scrap card that I've got below. So it's pushing it all the way through the fibres. Now what you don't want to keep doing is that time and time and time and time again because eventually you'll end up with lots of blend ink and it will pool into your beautiful smooth image. What you will do is let that dry and then come back to it and I've got the one that I was showing you earlier where I'd started to correct it. You can see there that's now dry so I could finish off correcting it. So I can go and then start to push that through by wetting it again the colour. And you can see that that's much more improved than the last time. And if I pick that up, you can see that I've achieved pushing through a final little bit of colour there. And I actually think maybe once or twice more on there and I will have corrected my mistake on that image. So if you do come out the line a little bit, even with a darker colour, don't just throw it away. Do take some time to fix it because you've spent time making that beautiful and certainly keep practising that technique because we do want to see that you can do that as part of the accreditation test. So I hope that explains smooth blend. I want you to practice, practice, practice. Start with the pale colours first, your ones, twos and threes, and then build up and be really brave and do something like this purple. And once you get that absolutely cracked, you're now ready to move on because you understand how ink's been saturated and you can start to work with all of the beautiful blending techniques that you can achieve with Spectrum Well. Mm -hmm.